joining me again. We're back with the uh, Honda EU 70IS. Now we're going to change the spark plug on it. The spark plug needs replacing every 300 hours. So uh, let's get on it and get it done quick. It's a nice simple job, nothing too strenuous. We'll go straight into the side cabinet, pop her open, reveals the cover here. So we get the big screwdriver in there, and we just undo the cover. Cover comes off, reveals this little spark plug at the top there. It's got a nice uh, plastic holder on the top of it, a little cap. Just so typical of Honda, they think about the guy who's got to take the plug out. Brilliant design. So we just grab hold of that and pull it. That comes off, we can tuck that out of the way. Spark plug's tucked away down there. I'll just show you that again. Just pull on that lovely tab, pop the cap off. Move that out of the way and then you can see the spark plug that heat shield is very sharp and it's a bit awkward to get in there it's quite a tight gap but you can get a full size socket in there now then this one the size I'm using is a bit uh, it's 9 sixteenths the uh, the adapter there um, I'll put the metric uh, into the description so you can have a delve if you want to do it metrically I've got a little extension and I've got a small stubby ratchet there what we're going to do is just get that in there, get onto the top of that spark plug. And then crack it off. Like so it's not going to be tight, not super tight, shouldn't be anyway. If it is, we've got a problem. We just slowly whiz that out. I might be able to get it at the end of it with my fingers now. Yeah, I can just get my fingers on that. Spark plug is an NGK BPR6ES. That's the size that we're uh, we've got. It's nearly there. It's a little bit, a uh, little bit tricky there, but we are now out. And there it is. I mean, to be fair, that is still in absolutely cracking condition. So I'm not sure why they're telling us to change that after 300 hours because it isn't, um, for sure, it's definitely not worn out. It's still looking absolutely pristine. I've got a couple of examples here. The one on the left look is a really warm plug and the electrode is rounded off on the edges. The one on the right is obviously new and ours looks like new. Anyway. It's not a problem, we have a new one. Let's pop it out of the box. They all come with the protector for the electrode. They're all pre-gapped, so you haven't got to mess about gapping it up. And you can even get the old one and just do a comparison of the two just to be sure that you're happy with everything there. I mean, they look uh, absolutely beautiful. Identical sizes and everything, so uh, we know we're not gonna cause any issues when we put it back in. Okay, I'm not a fan of putting anything on the threads. Some people like to put a bit on there. I'm quite happy to bang that straight back in again. I'm going to go in with my fingers first, just to get it started. So we'll drop that in the hole, and then just gently wind that back in again. Can you see where that is? I don't know if you can see my finger. I think you can. I think you can see it in there. A bit hard to spot it on the camera. So I'll just take this in as far as I can with the, with my fingers, just about to there. Then I can go back down again with the uh, with the socket. Now, with these, as soon as it gets down to a point where it won't go any further. Quarter turn. That is it. No tighter. Don't need to go any tighter than that. Quarter turn is absolutely fine. What you've got on these plugs is a compression ring just there. And all it's doing is just squashing that down. You don't need to go any more as you'll end up doing damaging the threads. So once it's nipped up, quarter turn. Jobs are good. One. 
There she is, in there, lovely, lovely. We'll get the cap just here, and we can pop that back onto the top. We'll push that on, making sure the wire's all in the right place. We'll push that back down again till it's all the way home. And then we'll put the cap back on. Again, you'll get some people who are purists who'll go, oh, you've got to put copper slip, you've got to put this, that on the threads. Nah. When Honda made this, did they put anything on there? Absolutely not, look. Not a dicky bird on that thread. So I'm not going to bother myself. Looking at this as well, you can see it's running absolutely beautifully. It's a nice colour. There's no oil, there's nothing going on there that we should be worried about. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Brilliant. We're all good there. We can have a quick look round. Shut the lid. And fire it up. Beautiful. So, I'm happy with that. Running as good as gold. Spark plug changed. Another little service job done on the car. <laughs> on the car. Another little service job done on the Jenna. So she's good to go for another 300 hours on that spark plug. Drop me some comments. Always love your comments. It's always interesting to know what you're thinking. If that's been any use, drop me a little thumbs up. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Ah.